Welcome to Uma's Lotus Lounge. This is season three, episode 20 of my show. Thank you guys for being here. If you're new here, please feel free to say hello. Um, we do this show once a week on Wednesdays at 4 p.m. It is a metaphysical experience. So we are here for readings, affirmations, spiritual talks, and just a feel good show. All right. So if you're all about peace, love, light, and positivity, please hit my name, hit that favorite button and come hang out with us in the Lotus Lounge. We appreciate your company. All right. Hi, Eddie. So I have somebody that's very, very special to me. Her name is Danae here on streams. She is known as Nene Reiki Master. And she is not only a fellow streamer friend of mine, she's one of my best friends. So we're going to be doing a combined um, readings for everybody while we're having a chat. We're doing something a little bit differently. All right. A little differently. So if you want, Danae, you can request the box um, after I do everybody's affirmations. So this is something that I do that I love to do is called affirmations. It's just giving you a positive word. For instance, my affirmation today, I am limitless. I am constantly growing and upgrading myself. I love that. If you would like an affirmation, please put a one in the comments and I will give you your affirmation of the day. Michelle, you are magnetic. You are attracting your wildest dreams with ease and peace. Savage, you are confident. You release the need to be in control. You trust in the process and that everything is unfolding in divine timing. Welcome in, charming dreamer. You are inspired. Your voice, words, and ideas matter. The world needs the magic that is inside of you. Welcome in a dirty something. <laughs> you are committed. Your faith in the journey is stronger than your doubts or fears. Welcome in everyone. We are doing free affirmations. Just some feel good words to make you feel good. Put a one in the comments if you would like your free positive affirmation. You're welcome. Charming. Thank you for the fave. Danae, you are worthy. You choose to show up fearless and true to your authentic voice. I love that. Anyone else that I get everyone? I feel like I haven't, there's some people in here and I haven't gotten yet. Who else wants a free affirmation of the day? Chef and Belle. Chef, you are powerful. Thank you, Michelle. You are becoming more understanding, conscious, and self-aware each day. Rocky's World, thank you. Welcome to my featured stream. Rocky's World, you are fulfilled. Everything in your life is happening for you. Thank you for the gift, Michelle. Here is another affirmation. You are vibrant. You honor your boundaries and radiate confidence. You know what's funny? I just had a situation today where I had to honor my boundaries. And do you guys feel this way when you have to put up your boundaries and let people know where you stand and where they stand? Even though it's the right thing to do, doesn't it feel weird to do though? Like you feel bad, right? Like I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have done that but sometimes you need to set up your boundaries. Chef and Bells, you are proud. You deeply love and accept yourself. You trust the universe has beautiful plans for you. Sonia, welcome back. Sonia, you are intentional. You are consciously creating a life you love. Gucci, you are balanced. You listen to yourself and honor all your needs. Welcome in everyone. We're doing free affirmations. Put a one in the comments if you would like your free affirmation of the day. It feels weird for you, but that other person wouldn't care. That's why there's a difference between you and them. You care. So, so true. Welcome in. Thank you guys. Thank you for the gifts. Remember my top gifter gets a special reading at the end of the show at five o'clock. Chef, thank you. Bella. You are motivated, Bella. You trust that you know what is best for you. Don't you hate that when you have people that try to tell you they know you better and they know what's best for you? I really don't like that. <laughs> I 
I really don't like that. Chef, you are open. Your higher guidance communicates with you through ideas. Stay open to receiving messages everywhere. Welcome in everyone. This is Uma's Lotus Lounge. It's a featured stream here on the Meet Me and Plenty of Fish app. Thank you for being here. We have a beautiful show set up for you guys today. One full of questions, self-inquiry, and of course, free readings. Okay? So, um, I want to say this. My talk today is on making you think. Thank you, chef. It's on making you think. So I'm going to ask some questions and I want to see your answers in the comments. All right. 16 questions that will show you who you are and what you're meant to do. It's a special holiday edition. Are we ready? Are we ready for this? Yeah. Okay, here we go. When I ask the questions, I want you to put your answers in the comments because this is a way for you to do some self inquiry. All right. Understanding who we are has less to do with discovery and more to do with remembrance than is typically understood. Have you ever had a realization that didn't precede a laundry list of examples, isolated moments, and meaningless experiences and random relationships that compile to reveal a pattern or truth? Probably not. The real work of anything is simply becoming conscious of what is already true. The essential point of a psychological guidance system, rather the kinds that work, is not to supplant a mindset into you. Rather, it's to give you the tools for introspection to figure out the answers for yourself. I say this with complete sincerity. The answers to these questions are some that have literally changed the course of my life. I'd be remiss not to have compiled and shared them. All right. So let's get these questions going into our self inquiry. Number one, answer these questions truthfully and honestly, and this will reveal to you who you are and what you're meant to be doing. All right. Number one, what and who is worth suffering for? What and who is worth suffering for? I'll tell you right off the bat, three people, my two children, my partner, nothing and no one, kids, kids, good answers, guys, everybody, good answers. Anybody else? Self, oh, that's a good one, self. I didn't even mention myself. Food. Yeah. All right. Number two. What would you stand for if you knew that nobody would judge you? What would you stand for if you knew that nobody would judge you? Hmm. You know why that's a hard question for me? Because I get into fights all the time on here because I stand for things. I do. You know, my my father taught me a long time ago, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. So I've been a very vociferous, if not controversial streamer on here, because I do believe in say what you mean, mean what you say. People may like you. People may love you. People may hate you. But that got nothing to do with them knowing where you stand and where you you don't stand. That makes sense. I stand for what I stand for, regardless of others' judgment. Yeah. Politics. That's a good one. Final. Thank you. Number three, what would you do if you knew that nobody would judge you? <laughs> Can I say this on here? It's a future stream. Don't do it, Uma. <laughs> Michelle said stream. Murder. Walk around naked. Right? Aside from flash, why aren't you guys doing it? <laughs> Be at peace, right? Because who cares, right? Who cares if people judge us? At the end of the day, the real ones know who you are. Knowing what others think doesn't matter, exactly. Number four, based on your daily routines, where will you be in five years, 10 years, 20 years? 
I'm going to be living my best life with mad success because my daily routines are, are the routines of a CEO boss person working in a house out of America. Ooh, me and you chef blessed emperor of the universe, successful and happy. Huh? Facts. Nay, nay. Healthy and alive. Yes. Based on your, your routines now, right? Beach Island somewhere. Amen. Number five, who do you admire most and why? Three people. Mahatma Gandhi, Mother Teresa, Madonna. Myself. Myself. I love it. That self-love is so key. It's so crucial for a healthy lifestyle. God. And yes. Yes, reverence for the divine, crucial. My wife, Marcus Garvey, Ray Charles, beautiful. My kids, myself, my uncle, my aunt. J-Lo, how does she look so young, right? My mom, mm, she survived a great deal of hardships, wonderful. Hi, Quinn. Top Badge Quinn and JT in the house. Please hit a fave on Top Badge Quinn and JT. Final, were you a Top Badge? I don't know if I, I shouted you out. Let me just make sure. Oh, no. Final wasn't. I just thought. Okay. <laughs> I might be psychic. I might be seeing things that haven't been seen yet. Okay. What do you not want anybody else to know about you? I'm a big softy at heart. I am very rough. I can be very business-like and aggressive, but I really care a lot. I do. I care a lot. So, yeah, me too. Sensitive. So sensitive. Not sensitive like people could, you know, troll me and I, I feel hurt about it. No, sensitive like I care so much about people and I don't feel they care the same about me in return. Introvert. I love the introverts. I'm an INFJ. If you know, you know. Lil Frankie, we're doing some self-inquiry, sis. Join in. All right. What are a few things you thought you would never get over while you were going through them? Ugh. My divorce. This past year. Getting uh, sick with COVID three times. A surgery that went wrong. Just never thought I was going to overcome them. I really thought that was it. I'm done. Me too, final. I'm an INFJ. I want to be as strong as people think I am. Such So much truth in those words. Single parenting. Good answer. Good answer. Huh, right, chef? I, I was writing out my will and everything. Getting out of the, the city. Living peacefully. The city is... Are you in New York? The city is, is hard. My divorce this year, when I had, how many people had a rough year this year? Put a one in the comments. Was it just me and Rocky? Cause I really, I really didn't know if I was gonna make it out this year. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Huh, that part fire. Hi Morello, <laughs> right? Okay, here we go. What is your greatest accomplishment this year? I know we got a ton. We got a ton, but this year, what is your greatest accomplishment this year? Um, mending things with my partner. Now, some people might say, oh, Uma, that's like a codependent answer. No, no, no. Hear me out. I'm the type of person that I, my walk away game is strong. I don't deal with a lot. I don't deal with a lot. I, I just, I'd rather be alone then deal with, with BS. So the fact that me and my partner, we've been together three years now and we went through so much ish and we consciously, we both went into therapy. We both went into couples therapy. We both keep working on us. And it's like so beautiful now. It's so beautiful. But that, yeah, that was an accomplishment. Getting a proper raise, moving past codependency, I survived having a baby girl. These are beautiful. 
getting through all my health issues before the end of 2023. Beautiful. Who from your past are you still trying to earn the acceptance of? Thank you, Morella. Having a daughter, me. Ah, oh, me. That is wild. That's a good answer. Who from your past are you still trying to earn the acceptance of? I'm going to go with graceful on this. No one for me. But if you had asked me this question six months ago, I would have said my parents. Mm -hmm. I would have said my parents. That feels so healing to just say, I'm not trying to earn the acceptance of anyone. That feels so healing right now to say that. Hang in there, Rocky, because I was just there six months ago. Trust. All right. If you didn't have to work anymore, what would you do with your days? Um, I would write. I'm beginning my third book. The third book is going to take me a while to finish. It's called Chronicles of a Serial Dater. And I'm literally sitting with my therapist and every session we're going to record. And I'm going to talk about each of the 30 relationships I've been in and why I'm such a runaway bride. <laughs> um, but this is all preparations for my final descent into marriage. Live my best life, write, read, travel, world traveler, eat food. I'm with you, Fino. Let's go. Write more, go teach children how to cook that are in poverty. Yeah. So I like doing whatever I want. Thank you, Eli. Hi, Hazel. So that that's good. What are the five most common things in your daily routine, aside from the basics, such as eating and sleeping? Five most common things. Um, meditation. Spending time with my kids, spending time with my partner, going to the gym, working out, and just being by myself. Like, even though I have a house full of people, I still find time to just be by myself and just have that alone time to process the day, process the month, this life, you know? Feeding baby diaper change. By medication. What do you mean medication? The question is, what are the five most common things in your daily routine aside from the basics, such as eating and sleeping? I said meditation, featured show. Yes. All right. What, oh, working on my diamond paintings, work, listen to chill music, take care of my son, cook and job, right? Cody, this is not the stream for you. Somebody escort Cody out. This is a featured stream and it is being recorded to YouTube so the whole world can see what an idiot you are. Thank you, Stace. Jog, gym, eating, healthy streaming, watching TV, talking with my daughters. Nice. Cook a ton of food every day. All right. What do you struggle to accept that you have no control over? Like we all know, we can't control anything outside of ourselves. We can only control ourselves. We know this, but we still struggle with what? I struggle with my partner. Sure do. Wish I could control him. He's a wild card. <laughs> can't. I struggle with it. Trusting people. That's a good one. That there is racism in the world. Oh, that's a really good one too. Working too much. Yeah. Looking after family, pushing weights, yeah. All right. Last question. What do you love most in other people? The idea that I can help people heal that haven't asked. Ah, that's a good, yeah, that's a struggle. Italian beauty, this is not the stream for you. This is for grown folks. Somebody escort Italian beauty out of here. And smile, you are recorded on YouTube. Thank you. What do you love the most 
in other people. Thank you guys. Communication and spending quality time. Mm. I, what I love about people is the kindness that we can show each other. When like 9-11, when we saw people come together and help each other um, in any sort of crisis, really, we just, we all find, we all put down our differences and we all bend together and find, find the heart for each other and work on, on working with each other. Kindness, good hearted people, quality time. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was, yeah, I was in Jersey. It was, it was a hard for that whole area. It was a hard time. Mm -hmm. Welcome in everybody. We are doing, um, we were just doing some self inquiry questions. This is Uma's Lotus Lounge. It's the featured stream here on the app. We are happy to have you. I'm now going to invite in my featured guest of today. Her name is today. You guys know her as Nene Reiki master on here. She's not only a streamer friend of mine, she's my best friend, one of my best friends. So Danae, please request the box. We're gonna have you meet a beautiful streamer, a loving streamer, and absolutely a positive vibes streamer. Wow, chef, you're gonna have to tell me your story someday. Come back in on a regular stream and tell me, I wanna know. Hi, Chamblay. Did I lose the name? Hold on. She's not really on streams a lot, so she may have to figure out how to get to the guest box. Danae, are you in here? I know she was like running around today too. Okay. Request, do you know how to request the guest box? Oh. Right. Thank you, Stacy. Hi, Lopez, welcome in. This is Uma's Lotus Lounge, a featured stream. We're waiting for my featured guests to get into this box. All right, take care, chef. Thank you, thank you so much. Can we please have some clapping hand emojis in the comments as we welcome in Nene Reiki Master. Hello. Hola. How are you having technical difficulties here? I'm so sorry. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. There you go. How are you doing, love? I am doing well. Um, like the day, you know, I'm just learning to go with the flow. You know how you lose track of time. Different meetings run over. You're halfway done with your head, you know, getting your hair done. <laughs> Eight o'clock, you'll see a whole nother person, I promise. <laughs> love it, love it. Well, we um, are not going to keep you too long because we know you got like a lot of stuff going on today. But could you tell the people a little bit about yourself outside of streams and a little bit about yourself in streams? Okay. Well, hello, everyone. My name is Nene Reiki Master, and I take on being, you know, a healer myself. I am a, uh, a wellness advocate for doTERRA essential oils. I incorporate aromatherapy as a massage therapist. That is another modality that I do. Reiki is one of my favorite self-healing uh, modalities that I use on myself a daily regimen. And I am also a um, creator of In Memory of Grief Support Group. Um, my mother transitioned in 2020. My baby brother transitioned in 2022. And now I navigate this world with them no longer here in the flesh. So being an advocate for us, for those who have lost someone close to their heart and um, want to find a healthy, happy, safe place to share their journey with here with Danae. Um, here with Danae is my business name, standing for healing energy, rebalancing everything, putting the power back into each individual person, knowing that they are the co-creator in their life, connect connected to source, and whomever, however, they believe in God or, you know, the fact that we are here as human beings, you know, as spiritual beings having a human experience. 
I'm just here to spread love and light and, you know, heal myself and work on being the greatest version of myself. Um, that is outside of the streams. In the streams, I also like to carry that energy when I do come in. I've noticed a lot when I do get on the streams, I'm cooking something that makes me feel good or something that makes me honor my mom. Um, I try to do little events. Uh, I've been, you know, hopping on different uh, shows. I know I did one. Um, I can't remember all of the people that I've got to work with, but we have some amazing streamers working on some amazing things. And when Uma mentioned it to me, I said, I absolutely want to be here. I absolutely want to be, you know, I started streaming back when um, COVID hit and that was definitely my outlet to stay social and stay connected with people. And then my mate, I actually found me as he was on POF and I was on um, Meet Me, um, reconnected through this app and uh, kind of fell off on the streaming because I was preoccupied. And now I'm trying to get back into a healthy rhythm of, you know, being able to connect with new people. Um, that's one thing that I love about this app, the ability to connect with like-minded people and to learn and grow from each other. I love that. That's that's the biggest reason why I stream is just meeting all the the various personalities and learning about people in their lives. I, I love when people tell their stories. It's so empowering. Yes. Yeah. So uh, Philip, nobody in here wants to talk to you just to let you know this is a featured stream. Okay, so if you're not here for the featured stream, we can escort you out. All right. So you are like me a tarot card reader. Right? Yes. What do you say to people that say, oh, that's the, the work of the devil? Tarot card. Oh my gosh. There was a big debate with that. And no one personally came to me and said it, but I like that people know me well enough to know that I wouldn't. I wouldn't be, I, I practice this, which means I know the proper tools and the proper things and protection that is necessary to connect to, I'm only connecting with my angels and source and three, everyone has their belief. If you don't agree with me, then you can continue to mind your business as I'm minding mine and finding my truth and speaking my truth. I know everyone's not going to agree with me, but the ones who do resonate and the ones who do understand why I use these tools, they'll know who are, who am I to judge? Because even the Bible has different quotes on when you think you can judge another. So it's like, really, the Bible says, mind your business. And if you weren't there to see the person write it, then how can you know if you do not own the original copy? But there's so many more things that I could say about that. <laughs> I, yeah. um, it's like my mind always tries to think of a, a comeback, but at the end of the day, you know, I, I'll entertain them for a while just so I can plant a little bit of seeds. And then I just go move forward because, you know, it's not for everybody. You know, if you don't know me well enough, or you don't know you well enough, or you don't know your relationship with God enough, that's not my business or my problem, my, my focus is connecting with source and being that, uh, that vessel of light, love and hope for everyone who's here on this journey. Very well said. So now that we know that you do readings and I do readings, can we get into doing some readings here for the people? <laughs> so I am actually um, not home at the moment. I checked in my car to see if I had any decks, but what I do have is chakras and self care. So um, if you want to do readings and I pick up a, a chakra that it's correlating with in my spirit, then I can read some fun facts about that. And then that person can kind of say, hey, you know what? I do want to focus on that chakra and I have some of those tools that I can use for that healing. That sounds like a plan. So whoever we select, you're getting a treat today. You're going to be getting two readings, one from me, and then Danae is going to follow up right behind me and give you a self-care chakra card. All right. Sounds good. So um, I will say that I'm partial to gifters. 
So if you throw a gift and get my attention, I will probably pick you first. So just <laughs> in the comments and let's see who I'm drawn to, to give this first reading to. Stacy. All right. Stacy, you got Page of Earth. This is a really good card because this tells you that you're about to have some good news coming in about financial matters. So the idea with this card is to do something more challenging and allow yourself to challenge yourself because at the level that you're at, you're doing good. And Spirit is saying, if you decide to go a little bit further, maybe apply for a job change, a promotion, you probably will get it because there is some sort of financial abundance coming in for you. And that is a message from your spirit guides. Hi, Supra. Thank you, baby. The chakra that I have for Stacy is the root chakra. When the root is deep, there is no reason to fear the wind. When you think of the color red, you have to understand the earthly element connected to that and also understand that this is the foundation chakra, okay? Good crystals to have for this chakra are red tiger's eye, bloodstone, smoky quartz, and hematite, all right? There are also essential oils that you can incorporate as you're working on healing that root chakra and moving into this new job financial security. That would be vetiver, lavender, sandalwood, patchouli, or frankincense. Thank you, Stacy. Amazing. All right, Super Dev. Super Dave, are you in here, Super Dave? I saw that. I saw that gift come through. All right, Super Dave, here is your message. You got three of fire. Three of fire is gifts, abundance coming in, things looking very good. You know, the idea, and it's 444 as I say this. So you're very blessed, Super Dave. You're very blessed. Um, I feel like your message is to just keep doing what you're doing. You're on the right path. And uh, now would be a good time to set some long-term goals, maybe write down where you see yourself in five years, 10 years, 20 years, because this energy, this magic energy is, is around you. Um, and you're really, your, your, your things are coming together is the best way I can put that. Okay. So yeah, keep doing what you're doing. You have abundance flowing in as well. Awesome. I love that. So for you, Supra Dave, chakra, your sacral chakra. Okay. Passion is energy. Feel the power that comes from focusing on what excites you. So the, the sacral chakra is right above the base chakra, which is the one we did the reading for before. That mm -hmm. color correlation is orange. Hello, my favorite color. Um, the element is water. So it has to be, it also is incorporating with your emotions. Some stones that you can incorporate are carnelian, uh, onyx, and the essential oils associated would be rosewood, clear, clary sage, orange, and yingling. Beautiful. All right, maple, then rocky. Maple, you got eight of earth. Eight of earth says that your skilled work is about to be rewarded. So expect um, some accolades from your job, your career. Uh, maybe if you're a streamer, you know. Um, people are going to be recognizing you and honoring you and appreciative of what you offer. That's your news coming in today. Uh, also, too, this is also another challenge card like Stacy's card. Card. So if you are planning to go back to school or doing something more challenging, that would be recommended for you as well, just as it was for Stacy. I love that. And for you, we got the solar plexus chakra. Okay, personal power is the ability to take action. How beautiful, standing in your power, knowing who you are, having that self-confidence is essential to you moving forward and getting the things that you want. You are the manifester and the co-creator, okay? All right, Let's Rocky's world, you got king of air. This is a card saying that either you're a very logical, balanced person, or it's time for you to be more logical, balanced, and not so emotional. 
So the message is about like staying out of your emotions right now and going more into your logical brain. That's beautiful. And in correlation to that, I received the throat chakra, which is words have the power to both destroy and heal. When words are both true and kind, they can change our world. So when you correlate speaking and communicating in the throat chakra, we have a turquoise blue and the element is ether, okay? That, that wind, that flow, that energy that you feel. Understand that certain stones have the ability to enhance that for you. Lep lepez lazuli, blue agate, turquoise, turquoise, and aquamarine. And some essentials that you want to have are essential oils that you want to have are eucalyptus, clove, or peppermint. Thank you for the fave. All right. Um, one more for Danae because she does have to um, go on with her day. And don't forget, Danae will be back at 8 p.m. tonight uh, for the Wellness Wednesday stream where we're going to be talking about energy healing, the importance of energy healing. So one more for um, Danae. Danae, let's do Eli. Eli, Eli, you got Ace of Earth, Ace of Earth. And this card says you have an inflow of abundance coming, promising business avenues and ventures. Stay open to receiving is your message. Wow, I love that. And in, in correlation to that, Eli, you got the solar plexus. Personal power is the ability to take action. So with those colors, you have yellow. The element is fire. So it's, it's about saying, you know what, this is what I'm going to do to get it and then making that happen. All right, your stones you have are pyrite, yellow agate, and amber, and your essential oils are lemon, grapefruit, ginger, my favorite, and peppermint. So definitely stay tuned. Good things on the horizon. Thank you so much, Danae. So if you guys like Danae's vibe, hit her with the favorite. And if yes. you want to see more of her, she'll be back again tonight at 8 p.m. in my stream right here. And we're doing Wellness Wednesday um the benefits of energy healing the importance of energy healing tonight all right yes, hey, absolutely thank you so much for having me see you guys later thank you so much for the favorite you're welcome all right welcome in everybody we are in uma's lotus lounge it's a featured stream here on the app hi guys gt kiki caramel welcome in so here's what we're going to do. We're going to continue with the readings. If you want a message, put a one in the comments. At five o'clock, I'm going to announce my top gifter, whoever's number one, and they will get a special reading as well. If you want to ask me any questions, I'm the CEO of a metaphysical wellness center. You could ask me any questions on metaphysics, spiritual, psychic, you know, anything of the sort. Ask me your questions. We're here for a minute. All right, here we go. Savage Cook. You got eight of air. This is an illusion of feeling trapped. This is like you're caught in your mindset. You're caught in your mindset and you're just going round and round. So spirit is saying to you, you're not trapped. Find your way out of it. Okay. Caramel, thank you. Then we have um, Kiki Baby. You got Ace of Air. This is new ideas coming in that's going to lead to something. So you're on the precipice of starting something new in your life, whether personal or professional. Spirit is saying that it's going to be a rocky beginning, but don't give up. Continue on with it. Okay. Um, after Kiki Baby, Caramel, Delight. You got Night of Water. We just talked about this earlier in the earlier stream. This is a new person coming into your life. It may be new. It may be you know, kind of casual, but this actually has the energy to go long-term because the night of water brings offers, offers of love, wedding proposals, engagement. <laughs> not, not that you were looking, but. <laughs> All right, GT, my bro, you got the sun. And if you know GT, you know he's like the sun brilliant, shining, happy, right? This indicates success, but not a small amount of success. Thank you, Eli. This indicates massive success. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why, but I literally, I have visions, guys. I, I'm a seer. In addition to being a psychic, I'm a seer. I can see the future. And I just had a vision. So my man is uh, friends with GT. 
and my man is starting a podcast. But did he talk to you about doing the podcast with him? I literally just had a vision of you and him doing a podcast together and you blow up exponentially with that sun card. Wow. Wow. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> see, even things surprise me, guys. I literally just saw it and I was like, wait a minute. I know he was doing it, but I thought he was doing it with somebody else. But okay, you're about to come into some major success. All right. So hold on to your hat. <laughs> you're about to be very successful. Thank you, Eli. All right. After GT, we had um, Savage. Did I? I did your Savage. Candy. Candy, are you in here? Candy, you got six of water. This is about like memories. Either you, somebody from your past is coming back around to you or it could be concerning your children, you know, like, because it's like a childlike energy. So there's several messages with this. And because I'm doing a general reading, I'm going to give you all, all the explanations and you can figure out, you know, which one fits either. It's somebody coming back into your life, or this is a message to spend more time with your children, or this can be a message about unleashing your inner child and doing things to please your inner child. All in all, it's a feel good feel. It's nostalgic. It's, it's a reminder, like to, to spend time on what is most important to you, if that makes sense. All right. Thank you, Eli. Morella, you got nine of her. This is, this is the living my best life card. <laughs> if I could name cards, this would be it. Living my best life. I, I, you know, my money's good. My life is good. My health is good. I am good by myself. I do bad all by myself. So keep on this energy because you're going to attract to you new opportunities right? It's a great place to be. It's, it's you're at your highest vibration. Stay positive and manifest. All right. All right. Jeff, thank you for the faith. Anomaly, you got king of water. Of course, you're going to get king of water, not queen of water, king of water, because you're a leader. But this is also a beautiful card because it's saying that you are in control of your mind and your emotions. You're learning control, you know? So this is a very positive card. And it's something we've been talking about, you know, both Anomaly and I, we're like twin souls, me and Anomaly. Do you guys know what twin souls are? Twin souls are not people that are in love with each other. They're platonic. It's a platonic love. And your twin soul and you, it's like you guys walk the same path. Because every time she says something, I'm like, I'm literally right there. And anytime I say something, she's like, I'm literally right there, you know? Um, and I feel that's like a card for both of us, twin soul, twin. I'm gonna call you my twin, all right? Uh, we are learning control over our emotions and our thoughts and we're getting it together. Cause you know why? Cause the next step is the big step. All right. Um, yes. Oh, stoner girl. I got you. Stoner girl, eight of fire. Uh, things are about to move very quickly for you. You've been in a period of stagnation of things not moving ahead. And now with this card, it's saying that whatever was delayed is now over and it's about to be very, very fast moving. And I feel it's moving you into the new year as well. Some sort of fast moving energy to get you out of the muck. Like this year didn't feel good for you. This year did not feel good for you, just like me. But next year is going to be even better. It's moving you fast. Yeah. 21 mad. Thank you. Pac-Man, this is not the stream for you. We're going to escort you out. Okay. This is a featured stream and it is being recorded. So all of YouTube can see what an idiot you are. You're welcome. <laughs> Put a one in the comments if you would like your message of the day. Actually, I, I could stop recording on YouTube now. YouTube, if you like the energy here and you want to come check me out, go ahead and download the Plenty of Fish app, come to live streams and look for me, Uma B1111. Hit me with that favorite. And whenever I stream, you can be in here too, enjoying the fun. All right. Peace out, YouTube.